Hello everyone, it's Felis. In this video tutorial I want to show you some features of the new 2154 project. How to prepare it for the first flight and how to start the engines. It has fully functional 3D cockpit with uh, two languages. It has uh, 2D panels that can be moved and resized. Let's connect the ground power unit and uh, get familiar with the uh, cockpit. To do it, uh, open ground service panel and press ground power button. To navigate in cockpit, uh, use keys on your numpad, uh, where several camera positions are stored. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 1. Let's move to the engineer's panel by pressing 9 on the numpad. Turn on 4 batteries. Connect a ground power unit to aircraft's electrical system. Turn on direct car current inverters to recharge the batteries. Now our aircraft is fully powered by the ground power unit. The main cockpit light uh, turns on here, on the engineer's panel. Here you can also set up the floodlight for engineer's panel. Uh, for the front, center and overhead panels, uh, light manipulators are located here. To remove flight yokes, uh, press uh, Shift F9. Before we start, let's uh, load our aircraft. Open the load panel. Select the uh, number of passengers, crew and uh, ca cargo load. You can also use these presets. To calculate fuel, uh, we need to set uh, distance to the main destination to alternative airport and select flight level. Main distance, alternative flight level. To calculate uh, optimal flight level, uh, press the OPT button. Also we need some fuel for navigation and uh, taxi. Press load fuel button. Here you can manage uh, fuel tanks uh, manually. Notice that uh, 2154 has uh, limits on minimal uh, amount of fuel that cannot be less than uh, 12,750 kg. As a result, we have all the information that we need, like uh, zero fuel weight, uh, takeoff weight, landing weight, and uh, CG positions. It is highly recommended to keep uh, CG between uh, 18 and uh, 32 percent. I recommend uh, 25. Press load fast button. Go to the ground service panel and remove sensors and engine co covers. We leave uh, gear blocks for now and uh, we'll remove them later. Before we start engines uh, let's uh, test every lamp in the cockpit. Turn on fire protection C system and uh, test it. Mm. 
test main horn. Turn on the beacon and the nav lights. Go to the APU panel and uh, start it. Turn on main switch. Select start mode and uh, press start button after three green lights lit. APU started. Connect APU generator to the main electric bus. Charge hydraulic systems. Turn on uh, second and the third system's electric pumps. Turn on ETS uh, 250 to have pressure indicators uh, working. You can also turn on auxiliary artificial horizon. Open cross-feed between the uh, first and the uh, second hydraulic uh, system and uh, charge the first system. Press accumulator charge button and uh, gain pressure in emergency braking system. Now we can turn off electric pumps because they consume too much power. Disconnect the ground power unit. Remove uh, gear blocks and uh, check parking brakes. Braking pressure indicates that uh, brakes works fine and aircraft uh, will not move uh, once we start the engines. Go to overhead panel and uh, turn on radio altimeters and uh, voice recorder. Turn on flight re recorder. Turn on fuel pumps. Turn on automatic fuel system and the uh, fuel meters. Open firewalls. Turn on engine instruments. Open air bleed valve on the APU panel. Wait until ready to start lamp shuts off. This will give air pressure for engine started. Open engines start on ground panel. Turn on the main switch here and uh, select start mode. Select engine 1. Since we have a 
pressure in the start system, press start button. Open selected engine fuel valve when RPM reaches 20%. Check uh, generator 1 and uh, connect it to the bus. Down check, up connect. Start engines 2 and 3. Engines started. Close uh, engine start panel. Disconnect APU generator. Close air valve. And uh, stop APU. Open engines air bleed valves. Turn on mass air supply systems and uh, open pressurization valve. Set all temperature regulators to auto. Set cabin pressure to 650 mm. And uh, pressure difference to 06. Turn on ice detecting system. and the NTIs if required. Engine started. Now let's move on and uh, turn on navigation systems. Turn on left PCI, angle of attack indicator, altimeter, turn indicator, ATT system, Artificial horizons, Giro vertical, compass system, magnetic compass correction, set compass indication to gyro, directional gyro, indicated airspeed system, KLM, VCI right, TKS left electronic altimeter, navigation system, Short-range radio navigation, radios, gyro roll correction, high-frequency radio, intercom, and the right electronic altimeter. Turn on Doppler system and uh, set it to NVU by DOP mode. Turn on cabin signs. Turn on window heat to, to low position. Test and uh, turn on pitot heat. Turn on ADF. 
and the setup frequencies. Set up the latitude on the compass system. We can find the latitude here. It's uh, 50 degrees. North. Select magnetic mode and uh, adjust main gyro. Then select reference gyro and adjust also. Now set uh, directional gyro mode and uh, adjust both gyros. Check all compasses. One hundred fifty eight. One hundred fifty eight. 158 158 and uh, 158 yes now move to the center panel and uh, turn on hydraulic buses and uh, close the cup now we can move for uh, flight controls Go to the autopilot panel. Open arrest cup and press two buttons below it. To reset the error on the artificial horizon systems, turn it off and uh, back on. Now we see there is no flex and uh, no uh, VG error. Turn on autopilot on the overhead panel. Check its work. FSU ready. And the uh, manual mode. It should always be in uh, manual or automatic mode. Turn on needles and uh, mouth mode. Turn on roll and uh, pitch channels. Turn on weather radar and uh, set it to ready mode. When the green light appears it can be set to meteor. Set up transponder code. Press end button. Set up the code. And uh, press enter again. Press center button on the angle of attack and the overload indicator to reset our lower needles. Set up pressure on altimeters. To set up a standard pressure on the electronic altimeter, press the hidden button above pressure knob. You can switch between feet and the meters by the upper right button. Also, you can set up the preferred flight level. When you reach it, altimeter will make a sound.
turn on nose wheel steering system extend the landing lights and uh, turn them to taxi mode extend flaps to 15 or 28 degrees Set up stabilizer setting uh, according to your center of, of gravity. Uh, right now it's uh, center. After you line up on the runway, uh, turn nose wheel to 10 degrees and uh, close the cup. The red lamp uh, take off not ready should be off now, which means you are ready for your first flight.